ada penyakit yang namanya corona, semua orang kan takut ini. Sebagai pemulung, istilahnya apa ya? Kalau kita takut masalah penyakit itu bisa tidak makan kita. Murah sekarang, susahnya lagi nyari longsoran. Kebanyakan di mata masyarakat itu pemulung itu istilahnya apa ya? Seorang pemulung itu orang yang menjijikan. Kebanyakan orang yang menganggap begitu. Kalau nggak ada pemulung, saya rasa jalannya masih kotor nih. Dulu belum corona, dapat lima puluh ribu, separuh turun harga, dapat dua puluh, lima belas, nggak cukup buat makan aja. Because of COVID-19, the oil price has dropped significantly. Lockdown stops most of the waste pickers from from going to places where they were normally browsing. For waste, and as a result of that, less waste is collected, and as a result of that, 50% reduction of the incomes of the waste picker families. I think the key word here is collaboration between NGOs, aqua, but also consumers and tourists and people that live here. There's around five million scavengers around Indonesia that are a crucial part of this waste management system. They're the real heroes, frontliners. They help to keep the environment clean. Saya sudah sekitar 30 tahunan dah pemulung. Ya jangan terlalu takut lah. Kalau kita enggak ambil sampahnya, soalnya enggak ambil sehari aja sampah udah numpuk di warga. Apalagi kita sampai dua hari, tiga hari, bisa berantakan sampahnya. Segini dah dapatnya barang dari dari yang hari ini aja. We have set up over the years an infrastructure with one of our partners, nama Sindo or Violia, to recycle plastic to go back into our bottles. We guarantee the offtake of uh, all the PET that they collect to make sure that we get the highest quality of uh, PET, which is the plastic we use for our bottles. They will bring them to a recycled business unit where they are being paid based on the kilos they bring in. Around there is the medical center where they can have themselves and their families uh, checked up. We give them access to the healthcare system to make sure that uh, overall their whole livelihood is improved. We also give them some bacos, some of the basic food products, and we are collaborating with other NGOs as well. How do we work together to uh, to help them through this very difficult period? We are aware of this COVID-19 situation right now, and also it's directly affecting our Pomolo networks. We can do the donation using a platform that is called uh, kitabisa.com. We don't realize perhaps how important these scavengers are to actually do the collection themselves and to make sure that waste is being collected, being segregated and being recycled. The waste problem is everybody's responsibility. Find reusable models wherever that is possible and if they use plastic make sure to minimize, reuse but also segregate the waste as early as possible in your house. Also value the people that play such a crucial role and realize how difficult they have. So if there is a way for everybody to contribute to support the scavengers in these very difficult times through donations, uh, through the handing out of food, it will have a huge impact on them and their families. <laughs>